So anyway, my acting coach has me taking this workshop. It's total bullshit, but my parents are paying something like a thousand dollars for it. Oh man, we've been here for like three hours now. Pause, damn it. Pause. Shut up. Okay, she could at least show some cleavage if she's gonna talk my ear off. <sighs> at least she hasn't touched her banana Streisand. Why are gay drinks always so expensive? So I go last Thursday, and you'll never guess who shows up. Hayden Christensen! <gasps> I almost died right there on the spot! Did you see Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones? He is such an amazing Star actor. Star Wars? You could what totally the heck is Star sad. Wars? And what the hell is she talking about? Hayden Christensen. What the hell kind of a name is that for a movie star? Fivish Finkel, now that's a name. Wait a second. Did he play that whiny transvestite dude on Welcome Back, Cotter? Or was that Fatty Arbuckle? Jeez, who cares? Take your clothes off, take your clothes off. <laughs> oh, God, I love Horshack, though. He's the only sweat hog I could really relate to. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. I got it. Horshack. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'll call my strip club. Arnold's Horshack. <laughs> and he is such a great leading man. Those scenes with men. Man, oh, man, and check oh, out the lady balls on this broad. Are those real fake breasts, or are they fake, fake breasts? Like one of those push-up bras with the underwire frame and, and just the faintest smell of vanilla aroma dyed into the fabric. Hmm. Oh man, so what? They could look like cucumbers for all I care. Oh man, would I like to get my clam hammer between her crunch berries. Mmm, crunch berries. I wonder if you can have a crunch berry enema. Man, I need to get laid. So then Hayden says to me, why don't you choose the scene? And it's really sexy boy. And then he smirks at me. Well, like Larry, your baseball class. coach <laughs> is correct. Your so John cool. Thomas has nearly quadrupled in size. Congratulations. Well, Larry, I've looked through all of my medical textbooks. You'll be happy to know you own one of the largest cocks known to science. You'll need to have several orgasms a day for the first few months or so, or until the adjustment is final. So I'm going to refer you to a blowjob specialist. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I was actually hoping you could come by this evening and make love to my wife. If, if it's okay with you, I'd like to watch from a closet. So I picked this scene from Batman and Robin because Alicia Silverstone is like my idol. And of course, Hayden played George Clooney. And oh, I think he would be just perfect to play think, Batman think. in the next sequel. What would make this girl want to take her clothes off with me watching and not press charges? Begging! No. Low success rate outside adult movie theaters. Aha! Save her life! It works for firemen and lion tamers, why not me? Earthquake! Nah, too predictable. Birdmen! Weird, but believable. Let's see. I'll need some sauerkraut, a fake mustache, I'll have to rent a cathedral. So afterward, we all got to sit around and ask Hayden questions, you know, about him and his future after Star Wars. And oh, all of a sudden, Jeez, this stopped, girl's got to get a Playboy channel or Spice or Cinemax, it. that Spanish channel that sometimes shows boobies, anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a sec there, Otis. What did you just say? What about Welcome Back, Cotter? Unbelievable. Please tell me you're thinking what I'm thinking. Please, I need to hear it. I really do. Of course I am. We're... I mean, I'm... we're the same... Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What's going on? Larry! I asked you a question! Me? Oh, uh, film producer. Uh, I work for a subsidiary of Vivendi Universal right now, but, uh, <laughs> well, you know, that's just temporary. All right, so if I give you an audition, will you please stop talking? God, did you even listen to a single word I said? Ugh, never mind. Just forget it. 